Welcome to day four of Safety Week. Today's safety topic is mental health, which may be one of the biggest safety issues on job sites today. People struggling with substance abuse, depression, and anxiety are more likely to be distracted and fatigued. Their judgment or perception can be seriously impaired, which can obviously lead to injuries of themselves or others, or worse, self-inflicted injury or death. Did you know that construction is the second leading industry at risk for suicide by men? Statistics show that rates of suicidal thoughts, plans, and attempts are more than double in construction as compared to the rest of the population. Why does it hit us so hard? First of all, construction is a high pressure industry. We are always pushing schedule and trying to meet budget demands. Many construction workers also travel a lot and spend a lot of time away from their families. We also deal with sleep disruption due to shift work or long commutes. Many of our workers suffer from chronic pain that's the result of years and years of hard physical labor. As a result, many of them turn to drugs and alcohol to self-medicate. Last, but certainly not least, we are an old school and tough industry. This often prevents people from opening up, discussing their difficulties and concerns, and asking for help when they really need it. And this is what we need to change. We need to educate ourselves and be on the lookout for the warning signs. We need to eliminate the stigma surrounding mental health and encourage our coworkers to ask for help when they really need it. Please take the time to get to know your coworkers well enough so that you can recognize uncharacteristic behavior. I've seen firsthand the benefits of crew members reporting unusual behavior of a coworker, and as a result, that coworker getting the help that they need. Common warning signs of mental distress include increased or excessive use of drugs or alcohol, anxiety, difficulty sleeping or sleeping much more than usual, a lack of purpose or comments about having no reason to live, withdrawal, dramatic mood swings or uncharacteristic anger, and recklessness. If you suspect that someone is considering suicide, please talk to them about it. Provide them with a sense of hope and help them get the professional help that they need. As usual, I hope you discuss this topic with your coworkers. And as always, I hope you have a safe and healthy workday. Thanks.